Central baseball team has been quietly going about their business this season. Currently find themselves in second place in the Valley baseball standings. Uh, game, a, game and a half behind league leading Dallas Baptist. Uh, right now we're pleased to welcome in the head coach of the Purple Aces, Wes Carroll. Wes, uh, how are things going in Evansville? Going great. Thanks for having me. Uh, coming off a real exciting weekend for our program. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my first question is going to be, you guys are coming off a big series win uh, at, at Missouri State on the road. Uh, Shane and I talked about in the first pitch uh, that, you know, you never know what's going to happen in this league uh, this year, and, and things are getting sort of interesting as the, the conference race plays out, but what's got the Purple Aces going in the right direction this season? Well, I think it's a combination of a couple things. Um, uh, our pitching's been adequate enough, especially on Fridays and Sundays for us, and our bullpen's come in and really gotten us out of a lot of jams. We're playing great defense uh, behind our starting pitchers, um, and then our bats. We've had some timely hitting, and then we've ambushed in, in some innings. Uh, you know, on Sunday, having six doubles and a home run. Uh, that's that's a, Those are big stats and big numbers to have uh, to be able to close out a weekend. Uh, I haven't talked to you in this setting in a while. Actually, the last time it was was when you had a, a stud pitcher, a Friday night starter by the name of Kyle Freeland. Uh, talk about your pitching this year. How have you guys been shaping up on the mound? Well, they've been picking each other up. You know, we lost Connor Strain early on in this season. Connor was uh, really dialed in and throwing uh, extremely well for us. And when he went down with the injury, we had Patrick Schneider slide into the Friday spot. And, and he's really stepped up his game and given us a chance to win. Uh, with that, we've also interjected a couple freshmen into the rotation. And boy, Alex Wygan on Sundays for us has given us a chance to win. He has three straight rubber matches that he's performed in, uh, and he's done extremely well. So it's been a, a mix and match of how we've gone about it, trying to find quality innings out of our out of our arms. But also you look at what we've had coming out of our bullpen uh, with the surgeons of Ryan Brady and Brent Jersey to really have two guys that you can go to out of the pen, especially Jersica, who you can stretch out a little bit. He had a, a wonderful game on Sunday, giving us a lot of goose eggs uh, in the middle of that game. And so I think we've been able to piece it together, and Coach Fick, our pitching coach, has done an outstanding job of putting our pitchers in great positions to have success. You mentioned Brent Jersica. I was going to uh, bring up uh, your seniors. You've got a number of uh, quality seniors in your roster, and uh, notably Jersica and Boomer signing have been playing really, really well for you guys. Talk about what the seniors have done for your team this year. Well, you've done a lot, and that's that's you know how you, how we have to win in the valley is is with upperclassmen and, and developed upperclassmen. And I feel like that's where we're sitting at this year. The move for Brett Sinek to go behind the plate uh, from last year to this year has really paid off. We've seen him call a great game. Uh, we've seen him show a lot, a tremendous amount of leadership. But if you see what he's been able to do to shut down running games and also pickoffs, I mean, he's had I believe 13, 14 pickoffs. Um, it was one of the best defensive performances behind the plate that I've seen in my time. And we've had some decent catchers here in Kyle Pollock and Jake Mahon. Seeing what Brent, si Brett Sinek is doing, it's really been uplifting to our pitching staff. You know, uh, him picking off another guy at first base this past weekend in a tough spot. Uh, you know, it gets out of jams. And he's got that ability and has that confidence. And then you look at other seniors uh, across with, with what Brent Jersica is doing. He had a senior moment on Sunday coming in and really against a dynamic offensive lineup in Miss Missouri State. Uh, for him to compete the way he did, I was really, really proud of him. Uh, Josh Jaywick's coming along. He got off to a real slow start. He's having a great Valley season so far. And so I feel like we're starting to have some competitive at-bats top to bottom. And it, it really is because of our seniors. Final question for you. When you look at the, the Valley race this year, uh, Missouri State came out, had a, a, a nice non-conference and, and really uh, piled up a bunch of wins. Dallas Baptist doing Dallas Baptist things. Uh, you guys find yourself in second place. Wichita State has gotten healthier and better. They've got some, uh, some contributions from folks. Uh, how do you look at the race and, and, and how things have panned out as we uh, enter uh, May here? Well, it's another typical Valley season where top to bottom, everybody is extremely competitive. Uh, there's no easy weekends at all. Um, and what you're seeing with Dallas Baptist kind of you know, pulling themselves away a little bit with the sweep this past weekend, they're going to be tough to catch. They're extremely talented. Uh, I know we go down there in two weeks. It's going to be a long trip for us. Um, it's going to really kind of dictate – how we finish up and how we shape up the rest of the season. So that's going to be a big trip. But if you look at uh, anybody can get hot, especially the Missouri State team I just saw this past weekend. They're loaded with talent top to bottom in their lineup. Uh, their arms are extremely, extremely good. There's a reason why they're ranked 
and have uh, have the win loss record the way that they do. So top to bottom in this conference is extremely competitive uh, with uh, Bradley, Indiana State, Illinois State. It's going to be a fun final stretch here to see how things shake out before we head up to Terre Haute for the tournament. All right, Coach, we really appreciate you taking the time, and uh, we will see you uh, at Terre Haute for the 2016 Valley Tournament. All right, thanks, Derek.